shear and bending moment diagrams by graphical construction. We've got two 8 kilonewton loads and a 15 kilonewton meter distributed load, also a 20 kilonewton meter point moment, which acts at 1.25 meters away from the left hand end. The free body diagram is given here. You have two forces at A and one force at B. Now you have to do equilibrium. I've already gone ahead and done this for you. As you sum the forces in the x, y, and some of the moments, you can solve to find that by is 32.167 and a is 1.167. Where this is down, if you solve the equilibrium equations, a, y is actually in the negative direction. So if a, y is in the negative direction, then v starts at the negative number. So v is going to start at negative 1.167 in kilonewtons. Nothing happens to the V diagram as you go along until you get to X equals 1, at which point it's going to drop by 8. The drop is 8. That gets you down to negative 9.167. Again, nothing happens. The moment, the point moment of 20 kilonewton meters does not affect V. When you get to 2, we have another drop of 8. That gets me down to negative 17.167. This is constant until I get to BY. BY at 3 creates the large jump up to a value of 15. The jump is equal to 32.167. At this point, I have a nice linearly decreasing value for V. The linear value uh, slope is negative 15. That's the value of your distributed load and that gets you back to 4, which at 0 is good because at the free end of a beam you've got 0 for your V diagram. M starts at the reaction at the left-hand end. There is no moment of the reaction at the left-hand end, so M starts at 0. M is going to decrease linearly. V is constant. This is where I'm talking about this first rectangle. The height here is 1.167. The X value is 1 meter, so this is going to decrease to a value of one, negative 1 1.167 kilonewton meters. That's also the slope. It's the same as the value here and the slope of that line. Between X equals 1 and X equals 0 0.25, 1.25, I have a V value of 9.167 over an X value of 0.25. That gives me a decrease in M to a value of negative 3.46. The slope here is the value of V, negative 9. But I only get to go down until I get to the 20 kilonewton meter point moment at 1.25. So here is X equals 1. Here is X equals 1.25. Now I have a jump up of 20. So if this is negative 3.46, then I'm going to get up to a value of 16.5 for my M diagram. Now I can go back to decreasing linearly. Again, I have 9.167. Now I have a decrease over 0.75 meters, which gives me a decrease in M down to 9.67. This slope is 9.17. This slope is 9.17. This slope is 1.17. So these are your slopes. The ones I've put in boxes are the slopes of the lines. Here is x equals 2. Now I have a linear decrease with a much larger slope. This slope is negative 17.2. The value of v is the slope of m. So now I'm at x equals 3. Between x equals 3 and x equals 4, my area is now a triangle of 15. So I have a value here of negative 7.5. My area is 7.5. That gets me back up to 0. The v actual equation for this, if you work it out, is V equals minus 15X plus some intercept. You'd find that intercept by saying at X equals 4, we know that V has to equal 0. So the intercept is going to be 60. So your equation for the line between x equals 3 and 4 is v equals minus 15 plus 60. 
If you wanted to, you could integrate that to get an actual curve for this M diagram between negative 7.5 and 0. This gives you negative 15 x squared over 2 plus 60 x plus some constant, and you can graph that and see that what you're going to end up with is a concave down, V is decreasing, so M is a concave down, that goes from negative 7.5 to 0.